here on ThinkTech Hawaii, Human Humane Architecture, and we're broadcasting live from our mid-century modern iconic city of Honolulu. And if you have the question now, who says that, um, if we can bring the first picture in, uh, it's basically us saying that, and <laughs> us is meaning the two of us. <laughs> well, more than the two of us. But <laughs> exactly, right here we're representing uh, a whole bunch more. Mm -hmm. And um, we have you, Tanya, here uh, being with us, and you are the president, our elected president for Docomomo Hawaii. So thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you, a Martin. Lot. <laughs> and this very funny word, Docomomo, if we can mm -hmm. get that first slide again, what does that mean? Well, contrary to what a lot of people think, it is not a Japanese telephone company. <laughs> it, it, it stands for, it's actually started in, it's an international um, chapter. Uh, U.S. is part of the international, we're part of the U.S. chapter. But what it stands for is the documentation and conservation of buildings, sites, neighborhoods. And in, in Hawaii, we kind of look at artwork also from um, things from the modern movement, mm -hmm. which would be things that are generally constructed, built in the 30s to the 70s. Mm -hmm. And our second picture is also the permanent background that we choose for the show. Right. And this is something that looks like it might not be in Hawaii, and it actually isn't. <laughs> right. So this is, right. a, this is a postcard we get from our national mother, so to speak, right? Mm -hmm. Right, right, and, right. And this is one. This is uh, Errol Saarinen's Miller's house, by the way, and obviously some deciduous trees here. <laughs> get rid of their blossoms and their leaves. I mean, you know, trees get rid of their blossoms here too, right. but not to the but not, deciduous yeah. <laughs> de degree that there is. So it's a it's an international organization principally, mm -hmm. but we're more tied to the national right, chapter, right. right? Or the, yes. the roof organization. Yeah. If you become a member, you become a member of the national organization mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then you just belong to the Hawaii chapter. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we do some pretty cool things in Hawaii. I mm -hmm. think we're considered one of the most active chapters mm -hmm. in the in the United States, so mm -hmm. awesome. we're pretty proud of that. Awesome, you can be. <laughs> and the next picture, still the question, who says that and are we legitimized to basically say that? This here is something that recently came out. It's a new uh, travel guide series, as it says. It's by the uh, Gestalten uh, uh, publisher. That sounds German, and it is. But they bring out <laughs> books from places all over the world mm -hmm. and cities they consider to be worthy uh, of showing. And uh, since this is a critical format, um, it has a chapter about architecture, but there's none of the current architecture on the island being featured. It's not considered to be cool enough. <laughs> but not like mid-century modern stuff. No, like exactly. <laughs> so that is. So there's a whole chapter and uh, that features, for example, this building here. This, can you describe what building that is? Well, now, I can, now that I can <laughs> see it, <laughs> it look, it's the NBC Arena building, and um, we've been kind of working with the city. Well, the city has been broadly trying to reach public viewpoints, so, which is good. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think Dokomomo has come out strongly um, praising that, especially the, the kind of the spaceship arena, right, which mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. mid-century modern mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. something people really uh, can see immediately mm -hmm. and really like. Uh, I think everybody has fond memories of it, mm -hmm. as well as the, uh, the, um, the concert hall, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's the Blaisdell Arena Complex, and, and um, I think we just identified a potential topic for another show, which yeah. is worth to do about that building, okay. because it's rather controversially discussed if it needs to be updated or even right. replaced, right. which we said no, yes. because you can't build something these days anymore. The culture of developers isn't of that kind anymore that you would d be able to do something like mm -hmm. way back. That's our position, right? Right. Right, and then it's not just the overall shape of like that building or mm -hmm. any modern building. I mm -hmm. think the they like they say the devil's in the details, but you know, like it's the details of those buildings that Absolutely. you got you Absolutely. Need to focus. And if you guys go on this link to this monocle, um, we don't have the link to the website, but you can easily Google that and you find a little trailer, a, a YouTube trailer, and it shows that detail of these crazy little glass pieces. They're glued into this sort oh, of yes. screen. Right. So this is speaking yeah. of, of which, right? So the next picture is the beginning of us. Um, 
What is that? And when was that? That was in 2012, right? Exactly. Yeah, 2012. Well, the, the chapter started out, we had done a, um, a modernism kind of context study mm -hmm. at, for Historic Hawaii Foundation. Mm -hmm. And then that kind of brought together all these people who were interested in modernism because it wasn't quite historic yet though everybody knew it was going to be. So um, anyway, and then somebody said, hey, we should do a Tokomomo chapter. Mm -hmm. And it just grew and grew. So we've been an all-volunteer group from day mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And there's a picture of the founding board members, us in front of which building? Of course, everybody knows the IBM building, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But of course, thanks to, uh, that was basically before the board got founded, we have to say, but um, there were some thoughts from Howard Hughes to also say, we can build higher and better on this lot. Right. And uh, in the sense of Doko Momo, um, uh, Howard Hughes was convinced to not do that. Right. I think there was, that building was kind of created a little bit of a public outcry, which kind of helped the Dokomomo form too, mm -hmm. because there, you know, more people were interested mm -hmm. now in modern buildings. And so, um, they, yeah, so they, they say actually that was going to be like a, a, a park. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then, um, so they say, and then now, you know, I've talked to someone from Howard Hughes and mm -hmm. they said they were so happy that they saved the building See. and they've been using it in their marketing because it's got such cool details mm -hmm. and, you know, like great motifs that they mm -hmm. can use mm -hmm. for their graphics mm -hmm. so it's they learn something yep right? <laughs> definitely we should also say that this article of the Honolulu uh, weekly here was uh, written by our one of our first guests and I consider him a co-host whenever he comes back and takes his seat so Kurt Crazy. Sandberg our most activist journalist on the island was also um, helping to spread the word yes. so next picture is what do we actually do right so you already volunteered. We actually have other jobs. Yes. You um, have been on a show two years ago for Jay because you're a very great architect and very uh, <laughs> vocal about voicing uh, progressive and, and also uh, critical issues on the island. So we, we do this sort of after work, right? Right. And totally. every now we decided to do it every third Tuesday. Uh, Third Tuesday, we meet the board meet. So yeah, we've ac we've come a long way. I think from the 2000. I think we just all got together 2011 at mm -hmm. somebody's um, shop and just started developing from there. And every year we're getting progressively more organized mm -hmm. and more you know le more financially solvent mm -hmm. also. Um, and so as the audience might sense, we do a little bit um, uh, shame, less self-promotion here, yeah. <laughs> right? So that, that picture number five, so we also use iconic uh, places to hold our board meetings. We so try number, to. We number try five, to. what place is that? That is La Mariana. Exactly, yeah. what many so. consider the last tiki place on the, the island. Yes, and she saved a lot of tiki places from other Exactly. Buildings. Yeah. So, so. what we do there, we sit and brainstorm and think about who could we bring in and, and pick their brains. Mm -hmm. And the next picture is one of the first people we identified. Who is that? That's Alfred, Dr. Alfred Yee. He was a engineer, actually. but So he was involved in many, many mid-century modern buildings mm -hmm. in Hawaii. He yeah. was a, um, a brilliant engineer. He's still around. He came and talked to us one day. Yeah, so the talk stories were um, kind of thought of as a way to pull in these people who actually practiced during that period mm -hmm. and talk to them because, you know, before, and, and many of them in the course of us contacting them to talk to us, you know, mm -hmm. they've either gotten sick mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. actually a couple have passed away. Mm -hmm. It's kind mm -hmm. of unfortunate, mm -hmm. but, you know, I'm... It, but it's the it's nature of this, and we want to get them while we still can, right. while they're still yep. around. And we tape them, and then we hope to someday put yeah, it up yeah. on our library and all that. So the talk stories next picture are kindly hosted by uh, Spacewise, uh, next picture by WCIT yes. uh, for the longest time. Yeah. And sometimes when the people who are sort of the focus of the talk aren't around anymore, as in this case here, right. some of their partners are. We have that quite often, right? With yes. uh, Sid Snyder, partner of Osipov, Osipov and right. we had it with uh, 
gentleman who was partner with Killingsworth as well. Right, right? Brady, yeah. And mm -hmm. this is uh, another case here, if you want to talk about that a little bit. So that's Don Gu. Um, he was with Wimberley, Allison Tong, and Gu. And Pete Wimberley was one of the foremost um, mid-century modern architecture. He did a lot of resort and very flat kind of, he did a lot of flamboyant stuff and he did a lot of like very cool, quiet, mid-century modern stuff too. And here's a picture of Don Gu describing the hyperbolic parabola roof of the Waikikian, which is no longer here. I admire how you said that because always I stumble over my tongue when I try to say <laughs> that, that thing. So compliment for that. Well, thank you. <laughs> So um, next picture is if you might become a member. Every once in a while, you get some nice emails of that kind. This is mm -hmm. a screenshot of my phone a couple days ago. <laughs> and what is that about? So this is our upcoming Talk Story event that will be held at um, WWCIT um, Conference Hall again mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. next week Tuesday, mm -hmm. and it's um, and I'll let you talk about the person because yeah, you actually yeah. know it's, it's Davina Jackson. She comes all the way from Sydney, Australia. She's yeah. a scholar and interested in many things, and also in uh, someone who had an impact here on the island. Here, you see that little uh, footnote in the middle: cost free. Yes. So. Once again, we're a pro bono nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. um, there's, a, there's a member fee. We were joking before the show, it's in the range of two meals, right? Yeah. It's the annual fee. <laughs> it's not a big right. deal. And you right. get a lot of fun. That's right. You so. get a lot of fun. Those talk stories, like you said, are free and open to the public. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, we usually have wine and poo-poos for people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's really fun. Mm -hmm. um, and this one should be really good because we'll actually have slides. Sometimes mm -hmm. we sit and we talk mm -hmm. to someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we do, when we don't get people to come to us, we actually go to people and places. So the next picture is an illustration of one of these events. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so every year, and the National does this, they have a National Tour Day. Mm -hmm. So we follow the National, which is usually the first or second Saturday in October, like around October 10th this year, I think it's October 7th. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, we try to find a neighborhood that people can walk through and see a good handful of um, mm -hmm, mid-century mm -hmm. modern gems. And a good example is the next picture. And in that case, we were lucky to have one of the masters yeah, so uh, we around. did. Yeah, we did Kapiolani. And we had um, Frank Haynes who is now about 98, but <laughs> he, he talked about his building, which is the Kenrock building in the back, and that's been in the news mm -hmm, recently mm -hmm, too, mm -hmm. where um, I think they want to develop that. Yeah, that so that's our, what we call Magnificent Mile, and they're these little marvelous buildings. They're designed so well that they withstand the test of time that we say, and that makes it so unique right. and outstanding. We're after this show, we're going to take this little one-minute okay. uh, promotional break, and then we're going to be back with our president, Tanya Moy, and we talk about Doko Momoing Hawaii. See you in a minute. Hello, I'm Crystal from Quok Talk. I've got a new show here. You've got to tune in, check out my topics on sensitive, provocative female issues. So, Tuesday mornings, 10 o'clock. Don't miss it. It's going to be fun and dangerous. Aloha, my name is Richard Emery, host of Condo Insider. More than a third of Hawaii's population live in some form of association. And our show is all about educating board members and owners about their responsibilities and obligations and providing solutions for a great association. You can watch me live on Thursdays, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. each week. Aloha. Aloha, Kako. I'm Marcia Joyner and I'm inviting you to navigate the journey. We are discussing the end of life options and we would really love to have you every Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. right here. So we're back to Tanya Moy's uh, Dokomomo Wing Hawaii. <laughs> and the next picture shows we were saying when we go out to places, it's the, 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 the walking tours, but there's also sort of more member 
not limited, but pretty much events where we go out to architects, especially in case when they might not be able to come to us as much anymore. Right. And which event was this one here? So this one was we went to Stephen Ao's house. Mm -hmm. um, Stephen Ao is an architect that did Ward Warehouse mm -hmm. as well as the Across the Street Ward Plaza. Exactly. Um, and his house kind of resembles Ward Warehouse, mm -hmm. but it was a really small house on the side of a hill and parking was bad. So we really ended up at making it a members only event. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you want to go to these like really special events where the, where we have to have a small crowd, then, yeah, you, yeah. then you'll, yeah. you should join. <laughs> and if we can get the next picture, we see Steve and Irene here in their house uh, yeah. touring us. And we want to promote here, too, because um, as we have just heard last week, that finally uh, Howard Hughes has decided to move on and tear War Warehouse down. As you mentioned, we also want to do a, 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 a photo docu yeah. mentory of it. Right? right. So we also do events called Doco Photos, mm -hmm. where we kind of know something is maybe endangered or sometimes we'll actually go to some place where it's not necessarily endangered but we worry about it mm -hmm, that people mm -hmm. don't appreciate it mm -hmm. so we try to get the owners to appreciate mm -hmm. a site a little mm -hmm. more maybe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but if it's endangered then we yeah. we try to photograph it as best as mm -hmm. we can mm -hmm. with the little details that mm -hmm. people don't pay attention to mm -hmm. always mm -hmm. and then we down the idea is that someday we're going to have like this really active digital library for mm -hmm. scholars mm -hmm. and for anybody to we're, view. We're working on yes, it. Yes, we are uh -huh. working on it. Our all volunteer exactly. group is working on it. And also <laughs> I want to say that um, we're going to make a um, planning on do a think tech show about Steve Oz where we wanted to get him in but he's so shy and humble that he, he says is. no I just want to be retired and left alone I which know. we respect yeah but his work is just too important to not spread the word I know. so uh, DeSoto has uh, volunteered to do a show together okay. with me so we try to get materials Good. we're getting there so soon to be uh, shown and featured so many people can actually still go and check it out on their own yeah. and keyword attention to detail this picture here is showing details in what circumstance Tanya? so we had a scavenger hunt which was also a doco photo event mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where people had to go and photograph anything that was from the original Ala Moana. Mm -hmm. So that was fun because it was hard to find mm -hmm. a lot of the original mm -hmm. parts. Mm -hmm. So people just, you know, it, it started at Design Within Reach mm -hmm. um, and we just, you know, everybody just ran all yeah. through the mall to find Who, by the way, have been great loyal partners and supporters yes, right, they have over been. the years. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And attention to detail, again, we, we try to encourage people through that to really get out and see that high modern, which we already said, was from the macro to the micro really great. And what we did here today is like we all chipped in with images and pictures and what we had from our archives. So yeah. this is a collage here, and yeah. this is uh, dedicated by Don, especially. He recommended this to have in the show. Hat. And this is uh, my former co-host from my previous show, um, Urban Transcendence, Ali Yamashita, having joined us for uh, one event. And uh, she is, there's a German word for what she does that doesn't quite translate literally into the English language. It's called begreifen, but the closest you can get is grasping. So really by touching and feeling, mm -hmm. you really understand, you comprehend mm -hmm. in a better way. Mm -hmm. And so um, uh, number uh, 15 uh, explains or lifts the secret which building that was. <laughs> so, Tanya, which one is that? So that's Macy's in Kailua. Mm -hmm. um, well, formerly, Lib Lib as we all remember it, to be Liberty House. And you can see in the corner on the right-hand side, there's that railing that still had LH in it. Yeah, yeah. So... Absolutely. It, yeah. And unfortunately, now that, that big sign is off as well, yeah, I haven't been by, so I'm... Me either. I, I heard things that they try to um, keep it and give it a new use, but that's what we're actually um, about, that maybe we can uh, jump um, over maybe to picture 17 already, that whereas sometimes it's just about documenting as long right. as it's there, but we're actually more interested to be proactive rather than reactive, so we exactly. try to go out and actually educate clients mm -hmm. about what they have, the jewels right. they have, what they might not necessarily always know, which was the case in this project here, right? Right, so this was, I think this was our first doco photo event, in fact. So the, um, the bank, I don't know if you can tell, but there's all those incredibly beautiful ceramic tile work 
that was like a screen. Um, and the, the people in there were like, oh, it's so tired. Oh, it's so old. Oh, it's so dated. And of course, every, all of us docomomos were like, oh, God, it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they had already had their plan set. So you mm -hmm. know, that's the unfortunate thing about mm -hmm. when we find things mm -hmm, out a little mm -hmm. late. We yeah. can't yeah, yeah. get them to change their minds. Mm -hmm, we, mm -hmm. But you know, through that, we were able to get those tiles. Mm -hmm. and. Um, so I have one. We yes. made them a little Christmas gift from members, and yes. they came in a big box, and it's sitting in my office as a prime piece. And don't for, drop it. For, <laughs> no, no, no. For craft and culture of mid-century modern, which yes. is like, you can't do this, or we don't do this anymore. Right. You could. You should. That's our motivation. We don't want to mm -hmm. just conserve. We want but our mission, but we want to actually encourage they learn from the past for the future, right? Right, right. Yeah. And so we will also lift the secret which building that is. So that's number 18 is the exterior. And probably most people know that building, mm -hmm. right? Right. But unless you bank there, you never knew that interior existed, exactly. I'm sure. And I just drove by there and I took a peek inside because I haven't, because I don't want to. And oh, I saw yeah. these three form, you know, pattern things they put on, on the, the wall. Yeah. The cool thing of the recent one, it was performative because it was ornamental and looked good. Yeah. But it had a practical function mm -hmm. that the employees who had the offices behind got right. natural daylight and they had a view but one couldn't look inside. Right, it now it's all walled off and, oh. and hermeticized which yeah. is really like a shame. So please people listen to us earlier. <laughs> right? That's That's right. <laughs> and we have the next picture um, is uh, our we want to advertise and promote our next walking tour which we venture to the next level yes. to do some uh, inter-island uh, right. um, adventures. It, it's an experiment. And this is uh, <laughs> the little chicken there gives, gives a hint about where that might be. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, although there's chickens lots of places now, but that I think true. <laughs> That's true. But I think the, the place most known for it is Kauai. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to be actually doing a walking tour of modern buildings in um, Lihue. Mm -hmm. so, it's an experiment. We've never done a neighbor island tour before, but we just felt Lihue has an extraordinary collection mm -hmm. of, you know, really beautiful and important, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. done by really well-known mid-century mm -hmm. modern mm -hmm. architects, mm -hmm. right within a walking distance. Yeah. So, and, and it's actually, an we said we're gonna either us or one of our colleagues is gonna make another promotional show about that specific event. We decided, yeah, just before it, right, and we go right, more through right. particular buildings. This one is here is first to Wine Bank again. Mm -hmm. On it, and the next picture is is another project there. Um, we will read soon which one that it's is. A <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a. It's a really gorgeous library, very unique, um, done by the same architect who did Liliha Library, if people are more familiar with Liliha Library. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So very influenced by Frank Lloyd Wright, mm -hmm. architect. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and, and many of these typologies are endangered because libraries are a burden to the public funding, right? And the question is, can we afford libraries? And then there's more digital going right. on so right. especially some typologies are more vulnerable to become abandoned right yeah. uh, than others yeah. and library is certainly one of them right. so it's pretty yeah. much raising awareness public awareness yeah yeah as a, as a matter of fact one of um, Stephen Oyakawa's libraries in IAEA has already it was is abandoned mm -hmm. well they're using it for storage mm -hmm. it's still there but they're using it for storage so mm -hmm. we're we're keeping an eye on that one too to see mm -hmm. what what may happen definitely <laughs> we might want to switch back to number si 16 which we have intentionally skipped over but it's a good moment to basically bring it back which gets us back to the beginning of the name about documenting what piece is that so that's a building that probably no one really notices. Mm -hmm. um, we went through Pawa'a, which is um, the area. We started at Pagoda Restaurant, right? Mm -hmm. So it's that kind of that area mm -hmm. around there mm -hmm. where they have a lot of low rises mm -hmm. and a lot of office buildings. So this was um, a building that really I don't think anybody notices. And I, I, it's got these for lease signs, which I'm terribly worried about but it's very unique I mean if you look at that building mm -hmm, right mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and if you saw it as a photograph you've got to say it's a cool building mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but when you pass by it on you know Kalakawa Avenue you probably don't even mm -hmm. think twice about it 
And that's actually very typical for that era, right? Yeah. And it was good background architecture as opposed to today where everything wants to be in the foreground. And it's also true to, for people, right? Up to the president here of the United States. I, I see <laughs> that, you know? It's all about here I am and I'm the best. Whereas these times were more humble, more subtle, and it was and about... And kind of supported what it was. Yeah. Either it was supporting their store or mm -hmm. their mm -hmm. um, office mm -hmm. or like when we when we go through we did another um, members event at another house which was uh, a mid-century modern house and mm -hmm. the thing it was very um, not not really I mean it was very nice but it was what we noticed was there was a lot of places that featured art. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, like that the residences from the mid-century modern yeah, yeah. really showcased art a no, lot. So it was and that was a great segue into our, we're getting to the end of the show, the last picture, because you talked about not so publicly accessible architecture, which you hardly can get to, right? And yeah. this is sort of, we want to conclude the show with an image of that, which is also a reference to how we always conclude every year. Yes. Right? <laughs> Our Christmas party, exactly. <laughs> one of our main events here. Exactly. And where was that? That was last Christmas, just this, recently, two just, months ago. Yeah, just this past week. It was actually at um, the museum, Honolulu Museum's, I guess, their, whoever their director gets to live in this house. And mm -hmm. it's an Ossipoff house. Oh, they even have Christmas lights around there. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Oh, <laughs> super sweet. <laughs> But I mean, it, and you know, like I, I must say, like our, our this this organization, it's, it's what's really cool is it is an all volunteer organization, and you know, it was put together in a couple of months, including the furniture. We had to mm -hmm. bring in the furniture mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they they were in transition between directors, and uh, which was fortunate for us because that's how we got to have the party there. Yeah, yeah. But you know, on the other hand, we had to decorate the whole place, and Absolutely. everybody came together for it. And it's it's how we are. It's including so this is not just for members only it's people are welcome they yeah. buy a ticket right. uh, but they're welcome and we have a lot of fun and yeah. with that having a lot of fun I had a lot of fun with you my dear friend and colleague <laughs> in the show thank you for being our president and running us and, uh, <laughs> and doing you. all this because uh, Honolulu and Hawaii uh, needs that this is something that's really important and to be treasured and uh, there we go and if anyone is interested please join us yes. And um, or you can email us if you want to find out more about anything at Dokomomo Hawaii, all spelled out, at gmail.org. No, dot com. Gmail.com. Sorry. Right. You also <laughs> find it as a link on the website we yes. show at the very yes. bottom. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Tanya, again. Much appreciated. Thank and, you, uh, Martin. Couldn't do it without all the volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>